Hey everyone, Matt here from the Wi-Fi Ninjas and in this short video today I want to talk to you about my microphone setup that I have in my home office that I use for when I record podcasts, if I join a video conference. This is what I use and this is my setup now. I have just changed and upgraded it slightly. So before I was using a Yeti X um, as my microphone but now I have a Rodecaster Pro mixer and I also have the Rode NT2000 which is this mic and I was having a very nice discussion recently on Twitter with some of my peers about what microphone is better for your setup is it a condenser microphone is it a dynamic microphone what type of environment do you have um, and what are they best for so in my office setup that you can see uh, where I am right now I, I just have it's just a bedroom so I just have plain plasterboard walls no acoustic treatment and I have some wardrobes behind me which have got the floor to ceiling mirrored uh, mirrors that you can see and on my desk I have a Dyson fan as well and I'm going to show you some tests when I turn on the Dyson fan and see if you can hear the background noise currently my washing machine is going as well so uh, I can hear that in the background but I don't think it's being picked up right now the reason that I went for this microphone and this uh, mixer is because it has something built into it which is called the high pass filters and that's in the microphone and in the Rodecaster and the Rodecaster also does some audio processing so it changes how my voice sounds and it does it live so no post-production needed to, to change that and I'm going to cha cha change my position of the microphone in three different ways so the first one being how I would record if I was recording a uh, a podcast so I'm very close to my oh series trying to interrupt me typical so uh, yeah I'm about three inches away from the microphone right now and this is how I would record for if I was doing a podcast and then I'm going to move to be about six inches away from the microphone so you can hear the difference between being very close to the microphone and then six inches away and then the final test that I'll do I will move the microphone out of shot of the camera so it's probably around 15 inches away and it gives me more free access to my keyboard and my mouse I can still access them now but they are still in it's, the microphone is kind of in the way so the level that I have set now for this microphone is level 20 on the Rodecaster Pro and what I'm going to do I'm going to turn off the audio processing so at the moment the audio processing is switched on but I will now switch it off and this is how it sounds this is my voice now with no audio processing turned on hopefully you can hear straight away the difference between when it was turned on and turned off I now have no real depth to my voice no richness no bass and it makes a massive difference I believe so that's how it sounds with the audio processing turned off in most scenarios I'm going to have it turned on so I'm going to turn it back on now what I want to do I want to turn on my Dyson fan I'm going to let it rotate past me three times and it has a settings that can go from level one to level 10 and I've got it set on level five so I can feel the fan blowing on me pretty strongly I can really hear the sound of the fan so it's quite loud next to me my nat to my natural ear I can hear it but it's rotated on me now for the second time you can kind of see it moving in the background it's a little bit blurred but yeah so it's rotated on me twice now whilst I've been talking and then it's going to come around for the third time I'm going to shut up And hopefully you don't hear anything. So even when I was talking and when I wasn't talking, the high pass filters that are built into the microphone and the mixer cuts out that background noise, which is really, really impressive and really good, especially if you're in a noisy environment. I live in a two bedroom apartment. I've got people to the side of me, people above me and people below me. Uh, there's a school right outside my window. So sometimes that can be really noisy. So yeah, the fan rotated on me quite a few times then. And I don't think you heard anything. We'll see. I'm now going to move myself six inches away from the microphone, but increase the level on the Rodecaster. So because I'm moving further away, I'm going to increase the level now is at level 25. So I'm sitting very comfortably. The microphone six inches away from my mouth. Um, this is how it sounds with audio processing switched on. The fan's not currently on. And this is how I sound. I'm going to switch off audio processing now on the Rodecaster so you can hear the difference if you had a Rodecaster Pro uh, with the processing switched on or off the processing is now switched off so 
six inches away from the microphone, no processing, and this is how I sound. Doesn't sound as good, does it? It's pretty mad. Processing back on is back on, and now I sound, I think personally, a lot nicer. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to switch on the fan again, do the same test, let it rotate on me a few times whilst I'm talking, and I will stop talking for one of the rotations so you can hear the difference um, of when I'm talking or not. So yeah, still about six inches away from the microphone. You can hopefully see the fan rotating in the video. It's just about to come back on me so I can have a nice breeze. I would say you'd be able to see my hair move, but with the amount of hairspray and stuff I put in there, you don't really see it move too much normally. Um, so yeah, that's, that's the fan moving on me a couple of times. It's now on me again. What I'm going to do for this next rotation, I will stop talking and we'll see if you can pick up that noise or hear it at all. So there you go, that fan rotated on me again. I'm not sure that you picked up any of that noise. I don't think you did. And I'm gonna now move the microphone so it's out of shot of the camera, about 15 inches away from my mouth, and we'll see how that sounds. Okay, so microphone is out of view of the camera. I'm just gonna turn up the level. So from level 25 now to level 30, uh, the microphone is, it's in line with my mouth, but you cannot see it. I've got completely free access to my mouse, keyboard, trackpad, uh, and I could easily move around and get access to everything I need if I was doing something where I needed to be uh, taking notes or talking or teaching or uh, any of the above. And I wanted to have free access and the microphone not in my way. This is with the audio processing switched on still. So I'm now gonna turn that off so you can hear the difference with having the processing on or off. Okay, processing is now off. 15 inch is away from my mouth and this is how it sounds. And I will now turn the processing back on and then switch the fan on and then hear how it picks, how it deals with the background noise. Because I've got no acoustic treatment in my room and the microphone is quite a distance away from my mouth now, it's 15 inches. By the time my voice hits the microphone, it would have bounced around the room a bit and then got to the microphone. Uh, so that's why it sounds quite different. So let me turn on the fan now and we'll do the same tests that we've done before. I'll talk whilst it's rotating and, and I'll stop talking for one of the rotations so we can see the difference when you're talking or not talking and the high pass filters and how it works. I can hear it now in the headphones coming through the microphone so you guys must be able to hear that as well now. So with the microphone slightly further away from me, yes it's out of my uh, out of the camera shot, you can't see it. But because I've had to turn the level up so you get the same level of voice from me, it's also more susceptible to picking up background noise. So it's one of the things you want to think about if you're looking for a microphone, what is going to be the best one for your environment. Maybe you can't just have one microphone, maybe you need to have two different ones for your environment. The fans rotated on me a couple times now. I'm going to just shut up now. And that was the fan rotating on me whilst I wasn't talking. And you can see how it sounds, basically picking up that background noise. So what I'll do, I will bring the microphone back towards me. And switch off. I switched down the level to the level that it was on before when it was uh, closer to my mouth. And I just wanted to do these test for you guys so you can get an idea of how this mic sounds. If you're looking to upgrade your microphone in your environment, it might help you make a decision on what one might be better for you and just things to consider and think about for your environment. So I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it was helpful and I will see you guys soon.